This is a clock spring out of a 2013 Smart for Two Pure. I'm filming this on a uh, tablet or notebook, and you would laugh if you saw this. I actually got it propped up on my bib overalls here with a piece of duct tape to my head. Anyways, let's go ahead and give this a shot here. I'm doing this by looking at the screen for the most part, so we'll see how we go. I've already got this thing apart, but there's some alignment marks that somebody put on before me. And you notice right here, there's a little slot there, there, and there's another one there. And what I've had to do is actually take uh, some metal shims or a little flat blade screwdriver and poke them in there all at the same time and then very carefully with yet another screwdriver pry. It's very difficult. This right here is your auto cancel for your turn signal. As you turn, that this rotates in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you also notice these gears right here it rides on that nylon tooth gear in there and then there's a whole set of gears in here and I've got pictures that I've already taken of that. But I thought maybe I'd take this apart and just show you what's inside. So we remove that. And then you need a T8 Torx. And I've already got these screws partially loosened. And that just lifts off of there. Like that. So we'll set that aside. Because what we want to do is look inside of here. Now this has a ribbon cable in it. And this piece here is responsible for maintaining the electrical connection from here through to these wires here. And also through that wiring harness that goes in there. And I've got it here in this box. And this is uh, the connector for your horn wire. You see you've got a ground lug and this fastens on a, a wire. It runs in behind your uh, airbag module, and when it touches the steering wheel, it grounds it out, as much as I can figure out. But anyways, the way this goes is in here like this. You see there's a little connector there, and that snaps in that little, little jog there, so it goes in there like that. So when you open this up, what you have is a ribbon cable. Now I've scratched the insulation off because this the wire is broke in here, the ribbon cable is broke. But I went through and did the pin outs on all of those so I know which one of those hooks to this. Your two, pretty much the way I figured it, I don't know if it's right or not, but as you hold this I consider this wire one and I consider that wire ten and there's ten wires in there. And the two outside wires, 1 and 2 and 9 and 10, are your, for your dual stage airbag. And that is those pins there. I believe um, 1 and 2 are there, 1 on the bottom, 2 and 9 and 10 by the way I numbered them. But I'll do diagrams of them. Anyways, when you remove these connectors, there's a little metal tab there and there that grounds those pins out. So that you can prevent having a voltage go to your airbag and set it off. The other, as far as I can tell, the other pins on here, two of them are for the horn for sure. And the other four, I think, are for paddle shifters if you have that option. And as you can see, there's quite the coil of ribbon cable in here. And that's just so that as you turn left and right, it kind of winds up. And then it kind of uh, unwinds as you're turning so that it never uh, binds up all the way. Now as far as how many turns that it's supposed to be I have no idea because it come apart on me and it was all messed up. When you remove this off of a smart car, this will be on the steering wheel, it's actually got a limiter somewhere in here that will not let it turn past a certain point after you've removed it. It still probably throws the calibration off uh, somewhat and you need MB star system to get it calibrated. You go to your dealer and get it done. Well, to finish up this video, um, the main reason I did all this, I was uh, wanting to trace my horn wires. So here's my little diagram that I come up with. 
on this. Uh, the horn wires are actually, see this connector here at my thumb, is this right here. And so one and two are your horn wires, because that other harness I plugged in there, those are the two wires. And then I also traced out the uh, uh, airbag connections here. There are the two outermost wires on the ribbon cable, one and two and nine and ten. And that goes to these, and I'll have um, pictures posted in the link below that will show uh, exactly which one of these pins hooks to which one of the uh, connectors. But I wanted to show that on this uh, piece here, that connector right there, as you look at it, the horn is the second pair of wires over from the right. You can see my diagram here. Wires 1, 2, 9, and 10 are the airbag, but 3 and 4 is the horn. So I would assume that leaves 5 and 6, 7, 8 as the paddle shift connection, uh, connections. So it's uh, if that helps you, that was the main reason I went to all this trouble, is I didn't have a horn, and I needed to trace the pins and test it, and I've verified that mine's working now. So I'll put it back together and see if I have a horn. Thanks for watching.